Hello, everybody. I can't tell how really the good is showing up. Hopefully, it shows up and I don't have to take it down. But I'm out in the light, so I can't see the screen that well. Uh, again, I'm out on this bike. Those of you know, uh, uh, and I'm not sharing this for sympathy. I'm sharing this for inspiration. Those of you who know me or been around and followed me for any stretch of a stretch of time know that I came real close to leaving this place back in the first week of March. So six months ago, I almost died. Uh, a total of five heart attacks, two majors, had to have uh, a surgical procedure to uh, remove blockage, um, and on and on. So I've been working on getting my health together, exercising. I've been out on these bike rides. Uh, I try to do it daily. Every now and then I miss a day. Uh, but when I'm doing distance, uh, I'm up to 10 miles. Started that this week. Uh, that was crazy to leap from five to 10. I don't know what I was thinking, but once I did it, I stuck with it. Uh, today is a sprint day, so I'm doing quarter mile sprints uh, for more strength and power. Uh, but I'm sitting up and I'm thinking. Uh, and I'm thinking about this conversation I had with one of my clients on yesterday. Uh, he's a guy I've been working with for well over a year, almost two years now. Uh, he's at the back end of uh, obtaining his doctorate. Uh, he's very methodical. He's very on it. And to be totally honest, I get as much from him as he gets from me. He's very inspirational. He's a positive point in my day. When I talk to him at noon on Wednesdays, it's always an uplift because he always comes from a positive perspective no matter what's going on. He has a way of seeing things that brings out the light in it. And he was sharing, because he's in the process now of actually doing the study part of his his work where he's interviewing, he's doing a, a qualitative study uh, on a particular group. His unit of analysis are people who are close to retiring or retiring from the military or leaving the military and going into secondary education. Uh, and the, the challenges they face, but he's doing a qualitative study. So he's interviewing and doing uh, a set of questions. And he said, Doc, uh, I learned a val valuable lesson in interviewing one of the guys. He says, I learned that the value that I place on a question isn't necessarily the value that another person is going to place on. In other words, he had a question about why, uh, I think the first question was, why did you choose to go uh, to a, a, a secondary education, go to college in, in essence? And, and um, he, um, he basically uh, said that the person went into this long discussion of why, and it was so in-depth and in -packed. It wasn't a simple, uh, it was about the money or I wanted the degree. It was so much more tied to it. And he'd say, I learned that I can't ascribe a value to these questions based off of my perspective. And what I want to uh, encourage you to do real simply here is protect your value. Everybody will not ascribe the same value to something that you have that you do. Sometimes you undervalue something that somebody else holds in a higher esteem and, and, and be aware of that. But more importantly, there are people who will not value the things that are valuable about you because they're looking at life through a different lens. You can't allow that to stop you. You can't allow that to uh, impact your self-concept, your self-image, how you see yourself in this world. You have something valuable to bring to the world, and it is absolutely imperative that you bring it out and that you present it, regardless to how other people are valuing it at the time. Find people who see the immense value in you. Find people who see the star inside of you. Find people who see the depth of who you are and surround yourself with those people because there's something inside of you the world needs. God didn't place you here to just exist. God didn't place you here just to survive. God placed you here to be impactful. He placed you here to make a difference. He placed you here to be a change maker, but you have to be willing to protect your value. You have to be willing to sit up and say, I don't care what you think of me. I know there's something on the inside of me. You've got to protect your value. You can talk about how much worth you have all day long, but you protect your value by what you tolerate. You protect your value by what you demand. You protect your value by what you are willing to be engrossed in. You are responsible for protecting your value. You are responsible for the environment you exist in. So I encourage you to go out there and do your best, be your best. And finally, 
here's a great chance to work with yours truly on a short term basis but still on a very reasonable basis join the 30-day challenge i'm out on the bike so actually i can't put all that information in now but as soon as i get back to the desk i'm gonna put it in and if you go down my timeline you'll find the 30-day challenge join the 30-day challenge and work with me three sessions powerful sessions three weeks personality assessment disc assessment and so much more plus you get put into a lottery to win a platinum package which is a 52 week uh, package with yours truly get involved find something that drives you i challenge you to do that on that note i'm getting out of here as i always say i'm going to live my life on full so that i die on these sweats get in my eyes i apologize you guys have a great day